Americans are moving to these 10 countries and loving life. Hey, I'm Scott and I'm an American in Bangkok. Have you ever considered a life abroad or are you considering doing so now? For many, living abroad is and always will be just a fantasy. However, millions of Americans are actually doing it. Of course, with the right planning, moving abroad is totally worth the effort. With globalization, virtual workplaces, and the increased freedom of location-independent jobs, Americans, now more than ever, are living their dream. So let's take a look at the top 10 expat destinations for Americans. Starting out with number 10, Colombia. Colombia is a favorite for expats seeking a decent quality of life for a relatively low cost of living. You can live with about 1500 US dollars, which is an affordable price for a modern town with solid infrastructure. You can buy property at a great price and live a comfortable life without going broke. Most self-funded younger foreigners or fixed income retirees seem to live in Colombia on a budget of anywhere from $1,000 to $2,500 per month, a fraction of what they were spending in their home country. Colombia has 21 types of visas, but only a few categories apply to expatriates. Most expats will need the temporary work visa, the TP4. However, if you're willing to invest a minimum of $100,000 with the Bank of the Republic, you can qualify for a resident investor visa. For those with useful skills, an immigrant visa is available for up to three years. Expats can usually apply for a resident visa after living in Colombia for five years, if not before. Most of its cities are welcoming enough with adequate social activities, comfortable climate, and much more. Also, Colombia is in the same time zone as Central Standard Time in the U.S., which is a huge bonus for those working remotely. There is a great deal of natural beauty, modern big cities, beautiful coastal towns, and there is easy access to other countries in Latin America. Also, there are direct flights back and forth to the U.S. that take anywhere from four to seven hours. Colombians are friendly by nature, but not with a fake smile. They actually want to meet you and talk to you. The females are very pretty, very sexy, and the coffee is very delicious. And Colombians take great pride in their coffee. And it's just one of many reasons to consider becoming an expat in Colombia. Number nine, Spain. I would sooner be a foreigner in Spain than in most countries, said George Orwell. How easy it is to make friends in Spain. With its intoxicating sunshine, endless beaches, laid-back culture, and cheap fine wine, Spain has long been a haven for American escapists like Orwell and Ernest Hemingway. In this day and age, though, it's never been easier to chase la buena vida, the good life. Among Europe's most affordable countries, Spain has a high unemployment rate, so don't get your hopes up about finding a job. But the Spanish government does offer a self-employment visa, perfect for freelancers and digital nomads who flock to international tech and fashion hubs like Barcelona or want to hide away in a dreamy coastal enclave like the Canary Islands. While the work visa application is painstaking, it has notably fewer requirements than some other EU countries and allows for travel anywhere in Europe's Shenzhen area for one whole year. While it may not be the top choice for career progression and increased salaries, Spain simply makes people happier and healthier. The land of siestas knows a thing or two about work-life balance with vacation allowances of 30 days per year and the country's dietary emphasis on olive oil, fresh vegetables, lean meats, and red wine, not to mention excellent public health care, means you'll be healthy and refreshed enough to actually enjoy your free time. Number eight, Vietnam. Vietnam has one of the fastest growing economies in Southeast Asia with a rising middle class, low crime rates, and a very low cost of living. Americans can thrive for nearly half the price of back home. 
Spacious one-bedrooms in lively, culture-rich cities like Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi cost less than $700 a month, while a mouth-watering bowl of pho is just $2. Getting around the larger cities is a breeze. Use your app and order an affordable and reliable grab taxi. If you enjoy walking, Vietnam's larger cities are easy to navigate and there's always plenty to see. A flourishing community of digital nomads takes advantage of reliable high-speed internet to work remotely. Some stick around to teach English and explore a laundry list of incredible domestic sites. Traffic, pollution, and ever-changing visa rules are the trade-offs for eating ridiculously delicious food and connecting with Vietnam's warm, welcoming culture. And a whopping 85% of expats polled are happy with Vietnam's cost of living. American citizens can apply for visas that are valid for periods of one month up to one year. The six-month and one-year visas allow continuous stays for up to three months at a time and traveling abroad and returning at any time after leaving the country is legal and permissible within the visa period. Number seven, Thailand. Thailand is a tropical playground for nomads and wanderlusters alike and has been one of the best places for expats in Southeast Asia for many years. The country attracts many young professionals looking for endless beaches, vivid cultural experiences, and unimaginably scrumptious street food. The capital city of Bangkok is where floating markets and modern tech hubs collide. The island of Phuket has world-class coastlines, and the northern city of Chiang Mai offers the chance to slow down. Thailand is a perfect blend of the traditional and modern world, and the country truly has it all. Thailand is a highly affordable destination for those looking to decompress. However, your lifestyle choices can make a big difference on your budget. Sitting in beer bars all day and chasing women all night can take its toll on your wallet, not to mention your life, so it pays to remain in charge of your faculties. One night in Bangkok makes a hard man humble, and if you're not careful, it might eat you alive. If you're living in Bangkok, traffic is a common complaint. If you're living in Chiang Mai, the air quality during the burning season from January through March can reach the worst air quality levels in the world. And another complaint among Americans living in Thailand is the weather. A tropical paradise it may be, but Thailand is known for its humid heat and a prolonged rainy season that at times can put a damper on day-to-day -day life for longer visits. Despite the negatives, most Americans still find Thailand to be a great place to live. Number six, Ireland. Whether you prefer the city streets of Dublin or rocky cliffs of Donegal, Ireland ranks as one of the best countries for expats. More than 544,000 expats of 196 different nationalities currently live in Ireland, soaking up the country's distinct national pride and mingling with friendly locals at pubs. There are other practical advantages to moving to Ireland, like falling real estate prices and high-quality private health care for a fraction of what you'd pay in America. As well as the favorable cost of living conditions, Ireland offers breathtaking views of nature and is renowned for its wildlife and natural beauty. Each year, millions of foreigners come to the small island to visit its national parks and partake in its numerous festivals, not to mention its beer. If you want to come to Ireland to live, you have to apply for a long-stay visa. You have to show that you have enough money to support yourself in the country. If you're considering residing, you'll have to apply for a Stamp O immigration permission. This permission can be given to people who meet the following requirements. They need to have an income of 50,000 euro a year, or if you're part of a couple, then your joint income should be 100,000 euro a year. You'll also need access to a lump sum of money to cover any sudden expenses. This lump sum should cover the cost of a house or an apartment in Ireland. In general, expats are able to apply for permanent Irish residency once they have lived and worked in the country for a minimum of five years. If you are living in Ireland as a family member of an Irish resident, then you still must have lived there for a period of five years 
before applying for permanent residency. If your parent was an Irish citizen when you were born, you can apply for Irish citizenship through the Foreign Birth Register. Once a person is entered into the Foreign Births Register, they are an Irish citizen and entitled to apply for an Irish passport. Number five, Portugal. After the Americas, Europe is the next most popular destination for U.S. expats. The jewel in Europe's crown is sunny Portugal, where the cost of living is among the lowest in Western Europe. With the average expat salary being around 102,000 U.S. dollars, there is bound to be money left over for enjoying the good life. So it's proven itself as one of the best countries for American expats to move to. Portugal is not known as the best place for single male expats, and the majority of the American expats that move to Portugal tend to be retired or close to retirement. In other words, you single guys might want to look elsewhere. Some of the draws for moving to Portugal from the USA as an expat include accessible health care. The health care is high quality and a fraction of the cost in the U.S. And if you become a permanent resident, public health care is free. Safety. In 2017, Portugal was ranked third safest country in the world by the Global Peace Index, 156 places ahead of the United States. Overall, crime is low and politics are stable. However, it is important to note that the moving process can be laborious. There tends to be a lot of paperwork involved for Americans moving to Portugal, there are a variety of visa options, and it's a good idea to enlist the help of a relocation expert. Also, home burglaries are common. Although overall crime is low, burglaries are common, particularly among tourists and expats. Why, if they're foreigners, they must be rich. Let's steal from them. Number four, Costa Rica. Between Pacific Blues and Caribbean coastlines sit Costa Rica, the Central American answer to your prayers. This peaceful nation of sprawling nature, friendly locals, and amazing coffee is a pristine getaway. San Jose is everything you could ever want in a city. Cafes, attractions, and a lively art scene. The city of Limon happens to be one of the most lush regions in Costa Rica and boasts a whole different type of of food, language, and culture. Wherever you go, you'll find the Pura Vida in Costa Rica. Pura Vida, the pure life. The collective philosophy for most Costa Ricans. It is the reigning philosophy that allows you to slow down, enjoy life, and relax. Much like Jayen Yen or Maipen Rai in Thailand. It's probably the reason why Costa Rica is voted as one of the happiest countries in the world and the reason so many Americans love to live there. Pura Vida sounds really good on paper. This relaxed approach to life and work can become frustrating for the American abroad. Services and government operations are lax and prolonged power outages, unreliable transportation, and vague promises of manana, manana, tomorrow, can kill that vibe quickly. Number three. Canada. All Canada is consistently popular for American expats to move to from the United States. It ranks very high for quality of life, safety, health, and environment. And it has a political landscape that is quite stable. Over 10,000 American expats moved to Canada in 2019, and the number of U.S. families moving permanently to Canada more than doubled in 2020. Some of the key advantages while moving from the U.S. to Canada include good expat salaries. The average expat salary in Canada is an impressive 111,000 U.S. dollars. Universal health care. The health care system in Canada is world famous and a definite draw for American expats. When weighing up both pros and cons of moving your family to Canada from the U.S., it's worth noting that the cost of living in the major cities such as Toronto and Vancouver are quite high. There are restrictions over private health care. 
Certain Canadian provinces have banned private health care, although there is some debate as to whether this is constitutional. The most obvious benefit of a Canadian relocation is how similar it is to daily life in the United States. Canadians and Americans actually share similar attitudes about religion, government, and individuality, despite their face value. Thus, Canada is a great step for those looking for a change rather than complete disorientation. Canada has far less consumer choice than we're used to in America, and while seemingly insignificant, the average American may find it frustrating shopping without as many big box stores and having your usual Netflix choices cut in half. Number two, Ecuador. As many as 10,000 Americans now live permanently in this South American country that's famous for being on the equator. Ecuador is consistently voted one of the cheapest places to retire and has an average expat salary of around 48,000 US dollars. The country is an affordable place to live and to move to from the United States, but you better get there quickly as pro- property prices are rising steadily, particularly in the popular city of Cuenca. The cost of living in the capital, Quito, is still cheaper than many expats imagine, and as with Mexico, you'll get more from your move if you commit to learn Spanish. Some of the top reasons Ecuador is one of the best countries for Americans to move to include inexpensive, efficient health care of a high quality. This, of course, is a draw for many Americans as the Ecuadorian health care system is ranked higher than that of the United States and dental care is also very reasonably priced. The cultural heritage. Cuenca is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and full of rich sites and experiences. Finally, well-being. Famous for Buen Vivir, the levels of well-being in Ecuador are comparatively higher than in countries of a similar size with a similar GDP. Ecuador is one of the easiest countries to obtain a long-term visa. There are multiple pathways to residency and the investment is relatively low. After 21 months of being a temporary resident and continuously living in Ecuador, you can apply for a permanent residence visa or a PRV. Under the permanent residency visa, you are allowed to stay out of the country up to 180 days during the first two years each year. Okay, so we have reached numero uno, number one, Mexico. Mexico, number one, time and time again, Mexico has proven itself to be the best country for Americans to move to from the United States of America. Mexico is a popular choice with Americans due to its close proximity to the U.S. and its climate. In fact, Mexico is home to more Americans than any other country in the world, with 1.5 million choosing it as their permanent home. When relocating to Mexico from the United States, there are three types of visas, depending on how long you want to stay. There is the six-month holiday permit, a temporary working permit, and a permanent visa. As Mexico is such a big country, expats recommend staying for six months on a temporary visa first. You can then try out different locations, both cities and coastal towns, before committing to somewhere to live. So there you have it, top 10 destinations for Americans. What do you think? Where would you live if you had the chance or if you've already expatriated, where are you living now? Please let me know in the comments down below. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm Scott. I am an American in Thailand. Choke me, lel jerk and my, which means... Good luck, and I'll see you when I see you.